Uh, is it going to end on time? I don't know. No? Just thinking about it. It's still going. Got a nap. It's, it's still going. It's still going, but we're live. All right. Welcome 2021. Uh, it's only been five years since we had a New Year's, it feels like. So uh, right? welcome. Exactly. Welcome to 2021. You wouldn't know it, but we actually had a big storm roll through Sonoma County. I think it cleared out yesterday. So yeah. that was kind of nice. And then I have a, oops, other side. I have a Christmas present. From my sister, oh, so nice. I got the crystal, I, the 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 salt, yes, the salt lamp from salt, salt crystal lamp, yeah, salt Himalayan, yeah. It's, it's supposed, supposed to, to be like really good energy, like you get good good energy in your space. So that's it's cool. supposed to get rid of my my negative ions, I guess, which I'm assuming is a <laughs> good thing. Like I don't know. Just negative anything. How about that? Negative just anything. Negative negativity. Yes. yes. <laughs> that's, why, that's why I just drink Mountain Dew. It gets rid of all my negative anythings. And oh, I'm, a, I'm a happy camper. <laughs> yeah, I see that. <laughs> you, got, you got tea or coffee today? I've got tea. All right. Very it's good. Very today. good. <laughs> so uh, welcome, everybody, to the first year of 2021. Uh, today's show, we wanted to talk a little bit about the... Um, I just totally lost the words while I was looking yes. for the, the um, kind of what to expect. We're yes, hoping exactly. 2021 is going to be a little bit different than 2020. And we're going to talk about that right after this. I like the little finger clips at the end oh, there. So, well, I know, right? Some new little music, <laughs> and we gotta. I gotta update the music. Uh, I, was, I was telling Sue, I like 15 minutes before the show started. I'm like, oh my gosh, I was ready to go to the store. <laughs> I want. I need to grab a card for my dad's birthday. I'm gonna grab That's some snacks. That's what happens snacks. when you take a couple weeks off and you yeah. get out of the practice. You know, out of the it's rhythm. Like, oh it's my like, gosh. Oh yes. yeah, four o'clock. We gotta go live. I'm glad I didn't go to the store because it would be a little <laughs> awkward for you, Sue. It would be. <laughs> but here uh, we are. It's 2021. Here we are. Yay. Yeah, I'm excited. I think there's a lot of really good things. I mean, obviously, I mean, like everybody's been joking around. It's like, okay, 2021, you don't have to do anything. Just be better than 2020. Right. It's right. so easy. So yeah. 2020 <laughs> set a really low bar low. for 2021. And so, uh, so far so good. I mean, I got some snow skiing in already. You, uh, did. you had a little bachelorette date with some girlfriends. So I did. You know, I did. Hasn't, yes, hasn't been watch. too bad so far. Yep. Yes. So or not bad. Bachelor, I apologize. Yes, there bachelor, is a difference. The bachelor there. this time. Yeah. You know. Okay. Well, as long as the right people get the right roses, then it's it's all good, I guess. Of course, of, of course. course. Yes, so, I, he gave me one last night. So oh, I'm, congratulations. I'm so so, yeah. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, what are we talking about? Well, there's a couple things that we want to talk about. One is going to be air meat, and we're going to we're going to dive into it much deeper next week. But we wanted to really talk about, okay, we're still in this situation. We have a lockdown. We're not able to get back to real events at this point, at least as far as I know across the country, uh, especially here in Sonoma County. It's really heavily locked down right now. And so the big question is, even like when we do events like or events, when we do a live stream like this, it's very one directional, right? We're pushing content out. Uh, when we get comments through YouTube or Facebook, we're able to respond. But there's a there's a there's a big disconnect um, in what we're doing in the sense that it's just you and I, and again we're just pushing out. Now with your radio background, you're much more comfortable and familiar with this, I would assume, than I am. Um, <laughs> but I know the big thing for us has always been, well, how do we create engagement? There's got to be a better yes. way because. There's Zoom for engagement. However, it really lacks a lot of the branding. And uh, so there's got to be a way of creating that conference-like environment where you mm -hmm. actually walk into an event 
and there's a big room and it's got all the different vendor booths. And then you can go into the main hall if you want to actually uh, see whoever the keynote speaker is or whoever's presenting throughout the day. Or maybe I just want to kick back and relax a little bit and chat with some people. Yes. You don't have you don't have the flexibility in Zoom, right? Because you don't. Yeah, you're kind of you're kind of locked in. I mean, if you've got a, a speaker, I mean, a lot of a lot of times these conferences and things they're using uh, the the webinar feature where you're or, you're really yeah. not you. It really is just a static uh, show that you're watching, and there's really no way to really interact even from a chat standpoint with right. some of those. And so, yeah. and you know, even if you're on a regular Zoom and you've got a speaker, you're kind of like, okay, well. What if I'm not into this speaker? Is there something else I can go do? Can I go talk to the other people? Right. I would like that because or, I, or maybe you just, I want to you talk end up, to them. You end up with like, like I imagine a lot of people are, and they're like, okay, yes. I'm on my Zoom meeting. Right. Oh, wow. Exactly. Sally had a baby. I didn't know how Sally had a baby. My gosh, I haven't been on this uh, thing for such a long time. So, yeah, people get distracted. Uh, so yes. we found a solution, which is AirMeet. Let me click the right yeah. button here. And AirMeet is really great because it allows you to host not just virtual conferences, but fantastic yes. virtual hackathons. hackathons. Even. <laughs> you could even have a hackathon <laughs> an event. Uh, we're actually doing a, a, a number of events with clients using AirMeet. And it's very cool because as I scroll down, there is the ability to actually engage uh, in a number of different ways. And I think one of the coolest ways is this right here, where they actually have tables where you can actually connect with different people randomly as you yep. go on. And I don't know if they have any better pictures at this point. I didn't yeah, totally I mean, go I, through I love it. it. And they're calling it, you know, the chat lounge, which is kind of fun. You know, the lounge where you can, you can get in there, you can jump on with other people. If you're at this particular event, you mm -hmm. can actually go find attendees. So if you know that your friend Jane is going to be there, you can go find Jane and say, hey, let's go meet in a chat room. And then you can go jump into that chat room, which is really cool. There's the chat rooms right there. Right. And you just jump right in and you're on a video chat with the with you know whoever's in that room, uh, right. which is fun. Uh, the other part of that room that I really love, especially from the engagement standpoint, um, is that opportunity to do the speed networking. Yeah. which I think is really cool. You opt in for the speed networking. It throws everybody who's in uh, on speed networking, puts them into a, a big spinning thing and pops them out and you go into a different chat room and you get to meet somebody new and you're there for three to five minutes, whatever you want to, you can set it. Um, right. And then it'll pop you into another room. So here's like the, the opportunity that I feel like I've missed out on. You know me, I'm very out and about talking to people. I love networking events. I love to go meet new people, talk to this person. Now go over here and talk to this person. Mm -hmm. um, I haven't been able to do that. It's really a lot more difficult to do that, especially even on Zoom. I've done some of the networking on Zoom. It's just not the same. Not uh, the same. So I, I'm really, I'm excited about this, the speed networking piece and being able mm -hmm. to choose to go into that lounge should you want right. to. Even if the speakers are still speaking, you can go into the lounge. I love that part. I like I like having choice. Yeah, and one of the other <laughs> things, and, and we're gonna kind of go through and do a demo for you next week. We'll go into it a little yes. bit deeper, show you the back end. Uh, and one of the features that I'm really excited about is the ability for the presenters. Typically, when you go to a conference, you're sitting down, you know, you get the network with people, yay, but there's the big stage, somebody talks. At the end, they typically have a Q&A. And so in the aisles, everybody forms a line and there's the, you know, the little MC guys holding them and, hey, what's your name? Next, we have Bob here from New Hampshire. <laughs> Bob, what's your question? And you get to actually ask who's ever presenting a question. Right now, using other platforms, I'm trying to remember what we did SMI's event with, the the marketing conference. Oh, yeah, that was so, so no, what was it? I can't remember uh, either. I totally forget. <laughs> Great platform, because you could you could yeah. put out a, a, a high quality, you know, event, and it was branded and all of that, and they had the chat room, but you essentially, your MC was, was essentially somebody collecting all of the Q and A questions that people asked. Right. They had to type it in. And then we had the MC going, okay, 
Uh, next, I've got a, a question from Bob asking, dun, 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 whatever it is. If the question didn't make sense or they needed some follow-up or clarification, there's no way of doing that because there wasn't an instant connection uh, with AirMeet. And there's other products out there similar to AirMeet. It, I think we found this to be this, the simplest to use is that you can now, uh, if I'm a viewer, Joe Public watching, I can actually raise my hand and if whoever is hosting the event wants to, they can actually bring me on stage and now my video and audio will pop up and it's gonna be kind of similar to what you and I are right now where we're side by side right. on screen and I can go, oh my gosh, Sue, finally I get to meet you. If only I could get your autograph, that would be wonderful. But I do have a question. <laughs> Um, I understand you have 20 cats and, um, you know, hey, what is hey, your favorite? Hey, hey. <laughs> one cat does not make a cat lady. I got one cat. Not a problem. One cat. <laughs> uh, but then I can ask my question. Right. And then exactly. we can move on to the next person. So it's really about engagement. And I think in 2021, because that's what we're talking about is, okay, where are we moving uh, Zoom, we already know Zoom fatigue, Zoom got old really, really fast. So the question is, how do you level up from Zoom? And I think this is a big way of doing it. So again, we'll, we'll talk more uh, next week about this. Speaking, Speaking of, of my cat, cat. <laughs> I was going to say, I just, <laughs> I just saw something. <laughs> she's here. <laughs> she's here. She heard, she heard. She's like, what? You, you have more cats? About her. She's, oh, she's very there she goes. Yes. Oh, she's up there top she goes. now. Um, <laughs> So the other thing, unless there's something else you want to cover on AirMeet right now is kind of a general topic. Well, I mean, we didn't, we didn't cover the arena, which I think is a pretty oh, cool yeah. feature of AirMeet as mm -hmm. well. So this is another um, opportunity for freedom and choice um, that you can go into those chat lounges. You also have the choice to go into the arena. So it's kind of like, if you were at a live event and they have the, the exhibit hall <clears throat> with all of those booths and you get to walk in and you stop at someone's booth, you see all of their beautiful signage and their banners and all of their collateral and you get a chance to talk to them. They tell you about what they do. They say, oh, we've got a show special for you today. Get 50% off if you sign up, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and we haven't really been able to do that from a virtual standpoint until now. In this arena, what I love about it is you can choose to go to the arena. You can go to the chat lounge. But when you go to that arena and you, it'll have all of the booths right there. They are all branded, just like if you were to go and get a banner for your booth in real life, uh, which is really cool. Um, you click on it and then you're able to, we're able to actually pop in there if we want to, a video. So that person who has that booth and do a little video that says, here's who I am, here's what I do, here's what I'm offering, um, so that even if you're not able to be in the room, because there are chat, there are chat tables within the, um, the arena booth as well, um, if you're not able to be in the room to represent your booth, it's still being represented from a video standpoint and whatever offer is available, all the links are there to your, you know, your landing page and all of that. Um, so I just love this, I love this piece because I love going to the expos and going and seeing different things. What does everybody have to offer? And of course, now having the opportunity to pop into that booth and literally pop into a table with that person and chat with them specifically about what they're offering and what they do. So I like that piece too. So Right. And, and the fact that you probably know AirMeet on the back end better than I do, and you're not a technical person, and typically I'm the I'm technical not. guy, uh, I think just yep. kind of shows the level of enthusiasm that you have for the platform. So uh, oh, yeah. we're really excited to talk about it. Yeah, more next yeah. week. Um, the other thing that we wanted to cover is going to be there's this idea. I don't know how crazy it is right now, but there's this idea that in 2021 that's that's this year that's this year <laughs> we may actually like people may be able to like touch each other in some way Ooh, and gross. be able to that's say disgusting. like yeah it's oh gosh i always remember that i can't remember the movie, the movie i know that's the movie so wesley it, snipes it's alone it's Stallone, Stallone and uh, Sandra Bullock. Sandra yeah. Bullock was in it, and Taco yes. Bell was the last standing restaurant. And 
it was all greetings and salutations, and but nobody touched yes. each other. Um, exactly. But there's this idea that when everything kind of clears up, we're able to get back to quote unquote normal, whatever that happens to be, is exactly. that there is going to be a mass mass exodus from virtual events to live events because everybody's just well, going to be jonesy. Yes, I would say yes, for sure. I mean, even with, we don't really know what's going to happen. I'm thinking, I'm envisioning in my head that as we start to get back to live events, um, there are probably going to be restrictions. You're, you're no longer going to be able to have, you know, thousands of people right. immediately. So we're going to mm -hmm. start with some smaller events that, you know, you're still, you still have an opportunity to capture those other people that, aren't able to actually physically go. Maybe they didn't mm -hmm. get a ticket. Maybe there weren't enough. Maybe they are, you know, they have a compromised immune system and they still don't feel comfortable going out to an event, but they want to be part of it. Right. Um, so that's what, that's, we've talked about this many times. I mean, the, yeah. the hybrid events are where it's at for yeah. 2021. So yeah. and that's, I what, think that's what we're going to be doing. Yeah, and so hybrid events is going to be kind of the future. So while there's going to be, I think everybody's going to want to go live just for that social connection. Um, yes. The other piece is going to be, I don't have to choose if an event's in Florida and maybe it yeah. just doesn't work with my schedule to fly the Florida and back, then, right. okay, I can go ahead and virtual. And because everybody's leveled up the game, the experience, it should be be a quality experience for those that are actually watching and engaging. And the other part is going to be education, not, and I'm talking beyond schools and colleges, um, sure. is being able to do trainings virtually. So as you know, I'm a uh, training assistant. I volunteer as a training assistant for NLP Marin, and they've gone strictly virtual. However, it's like, oh my gosh, we have students around the world. Some of them are joining us at two, three o'clock in the morning, their time. And the students are excited to be on because they actually get to be engaged with us. They can ask questions. They get to do some of the practicing. They're not just watching a pre-recorded video, which is what you would have to do exactly. in the past. So all of that's going to change with these hybrid events. And then um, with that hybrid event, things are going to change a little bit. If you're an event planner, you've already had to shift quite a bit in far as going virtual, but there's a different way of marketing when it comes mm -hmm. to the virtual side versus a, a live seat. When I have to get butts physically in a chair, yes, that yes, is exactly. that can be uniquely different than getting virtual tickets sold. Right. Well, I mean, I think there's also another piece of the of the hybrid idea. Um, mm -hmm. It's not just having, um, you know, a, a physical event plus a, a virtual element. I mean, I've kind of seen some people go to virtual events this year where they were able to get an amazing keynote speaker because it was virtual, because that person didn't have the time or whatever to fly somewhere to actually be at the live event. So I think we're gonna see a lot of that type of hybrid opportunity as well with the technology, with you know, uh, cameras, the way that they are and the, and the streaming and the quality. Um, right. I think we're gonna see that where you've got a live event who maybe there is a really cool keynote speaker who is streamed in right. at the live event and through that, the whole, live, the whole streamed event altogether. Yep. So, yep. I think there's a lot of opportunities. Uh, yeah, this year. And, and the other thing that's pretty cool is that if your if your budget maybe doesn't allow for that, you know, the quality of keynote speaker that you want to actually yes. fly, it's like how much money would you save by them right. just setting up? And I know a lot of keynote speakers because they've had to go virtual themselves, they've literally set up studios with lighting, multiple cameras. Uh, they have exactly. got fast internet, so they've they're setting that content, or they they've set the stage themselves in their home or home office, and so they're going to have the tools and the resources, and they'll probably want to continue to use them uh, for Absolutely. some time. So yeah. Well, I mean, I and I what I love about this too, you know, not only not only from those keynote speakers' um, perspective, because they usually have a pretty good message, uh, they want to become known, and all of these events we now have opened up the world. So you really have the opportunity to bring in audiences and speakers and and have this have this really cool opportunity to really reach 
the world, especially with these messages. I mean, I've, I've, I've been to many different <clears throat> events and seen keynote speakers that are just so dynamic and they have such a great message. And it's like, wow, what an opportunity we have right. for all of these amazing people to get that message out to the world. So I, I love it. I think, yeah. I think there's good stuff. So it's going to be exciting times. Um, yes. So with those hybrid events is going to be the fact that event planners are going to have to continue the technology. They're also going to have to get more into digital marketing more than they may have been. If that's proper English, I'm not sure. I have a tendency of butchering things. Uh, and then number two is going to be that if you're all about virtual, putting on a virtual event is way different than putting on an actual live event where you got to get a booth, you got to get food, maybe linens, you got to get lighting, uh, insurance, all this type of stuff. Um, so there's, there's going to be there's kind a little, of a, yeah. there's going to be a mix that goes on and it's it's already started now, but it'll be interesting how all of that plays out into 2021 and beyond and what new businesses are going to pop up that are gonna be taking care of both of these, exactly. you know, all in one well, type like, of a service. Well, I really like the idea of, you know, having, to, not having to, or having the opportunity to collaborate with, mm -hmm. you know, for us, for what with what we're doing and what we are providing as a service, um, really does fit well with the event planners. We're working with one event planner right now and it's like, it makes sense. And, you know, she's like, wow, this is stuff I don't know about. Sometimes we, they don't even know what questions to ask or, well, can right. we do this? And, and so I think that I, I'm enjoying the collaboration of, of uh, you know, kind of problem solving mm -hmm. uh, how, how to right. take a, an in-person event and make it a very successful virtual event. So, um, yeah, I, cause everybody I'm, has I'm different kidding. needs. I don't think we've done an event yet that is similar, maybe one or no, two, but I think I they've all been uniquely different, but yeah, nothing, every, it, nothing that we've, nothing we've done has been cookie cutter by any right, means. No, no, no. Um, so, so yeah, so that's kind of one of the other things to think about as far as 2021. And then the other thing, and I think a lot of this has to do with the uh, Zoom, Zoom fatigue <laughs> is going to be really the quality of the speakers and getting some, you, we got to emotionally connect with people. And that's another reason why we're both yes. excited about air meet is because there is a, a socialization, a social connection where mm -hmm. we got to get the viewers invested emotionally in participating online when we're just looking at a one dimensional screen. Um, so the quality, I think of the content in general, uh, it's definitely one of the things that we've seen in the events that we've done and the feedback is that you, you almost need people who can kind of act a little bit and, you know, is, are willing to throw a little bit of extra energy uh, towards the camera so that people are engaged. Uh, it's where it's true. It's, it's kind of like, it's kind of like, you know, just oh, like you said, acting a little bit, you know, a, a little of overacting mm -hmm. because when you're in person, it's one thing. But when you, like you said, when you're right here and it's a static screen, that's something a little bit different. So you kind of do have to up level a little mm -hmm. bit. Um, but I don't think that it's, it's not, noticeable as in wow they're really overacting here it's right. it's like no it actually feels better because now i can mm -hmm. kind of get excited about watching the screen so right. i think that's a, there's a like, there's a shift in that too yeah you gotta you gotta be you gotta be able to really draw people in and yeah. get that emotional connection uh, so those are those are some of the things because i think what people will start seeing if they don't do that as far as virtual events the attendance numbers are just going to continue to drop and drop and drop as people get really wearisome of being online all the time. Yeah, I agree. I yeah. agree. I mean, and we've, and we've, we've chatted about this before too, you know, having, you're going to have uh, an event, some type of thing, have a host that, yes. that carries it through that is, you know, is, is uh, kind of the facilitator to get it through who has the right energy for it to, to really, keep it going. Even if you have a, a speaker that maybe isn't as, you know, exciting or excited, right. uh, they're a little more, you know, it depends on the, the topic, obviously. Um, but if you've got a host that really can kind of elevate that a little bit and, and really keep it on track, I think that's the way to go too. So 
Yeah. And I also, I think one of the other things that we've learned is that if you do have a speaker who's maybe a little bit dry, the content is, it's still quality content, but the delivery might sure. be a little dry, especially for morning meetings is maybe they're not the first presenter. Right. Um, get those high <laughs> energy, fun people that, you know, have a little excitement and, well, you know, are really excited about what they're doing and they're able to convey that, get those people on early. And then maybe the person who has quality content, but a little dry, starts slowing down <laughs> a little bit. You kind of just put them in the middle somewhere. It's okay. Um, well, and you gotta have the, you gotta have bookmarks. the flow. Yeah. You gotta yeah. have book, there you but, go. book, yeah, in, book bookends, marks, bookends, bookends, uh, bookmark yeah. it, bookmark and thingies are bookends. very important. <laughs> bookends. Yes. So I, I think that's all I have uh, for this, mm -hmm. unless there's anything else you can think of for 2021 is kind of what to expect on the virtual side. Well, I would say, you know, once again, if you were waiting to go back to a live uh, in-person event, don't wait. Um, do your virtual stuff now. Start yep. it going. It's not going anywhere. Like we said, it's um, if, if nothing else, it's going to be hybrid. Virtual events are not going away. Uh, so, and I think there's an opportunity to continue to continue to build build businesses and you know organizations in general, um, especially with from an educational standpoint too. So, yeah, and I'm if curious. You from jumped the, in, jump in. Yeah, and I'm curious from the viewer's point of view is how many people have been wanting to but haven't jumped in yet. Yes, I'd be curious exactly. to know. And then if uh, if you haven't jumped in, what is your biggest concern? So you can go ahead and leave a comment below. Would love to hear that. Yes, of course. Yeah. Everybody's got different reasons for either jumping in or not jumping in. So right. yep. we'd love to, we'd love to hear what's going on with you if you're doing them. And uh, also I'd love to hear successes too. Yes, you know, definitely. People are having success with different, different events. What's working for you. Um, I, you know, we like to share. So of course, share I think back. it's a good thing if you share back, <laughs> if, you, if you've got something, no, if, you, if you've got something good, I mean, it's good for everyone. Right. You know, to be, be helping everyone to be successful in the virtual um, events realm. So, yeah. yeah, we'd love to love to hear what's working for everybody. Yeah, most definitely. Uh, with that, I think that's all we have for today. Yeah. And um, be sure to join us next week if you're curious to learn more about air meet and, and uh, you know, again, that socializ socialization part is yes. uh, really exciting to be able to connect and just being able to freely move where you want, when you want. Um, really excited to be able to share this uh, tool with everybody out there. Sue, yeah. always a pleasure. Appreciate yeah. your time. All right, you too. We'll see you soon. All right. Until then, everybody, hope you have a great week. And